Hey everybody, welcome back. We've got ourselves a 14 to 24 Nikon Z lens. I've been looking to get something like this for a long time and want to try it out and it would pair really nicely with my Nikon Z6. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's actually talk about this thing and unbox it and we'll mount it to this and get a couple of test videos for you. So exciting, here we go. So Nikon. up and okay here we go first thing is uh a, looks like some sort of wiping cloth or some sort of pad that's very soft and then we've got ourselves some paperwork so there's the limited one year warranty and some instructions don't need those things we, let's get to the the good stuff so let's talk about this lens just opening it up and there's some sort of box here okay let's try to get this out all right, okay, gotta be careful. And okay, there's this box right here. I'm guessing this is probably the large lens hood that goes with it. And we've got ourselves some sort of foam. Ooh, this is hard to get out. Here we go, some sort of foam here. And then there is the lens. Oh yeah, here we go. So I'll just tell you right off the bat, that this thing is way lighter than I expected it to be. I actually thought that this was going to be uh, a lot heavier, um, a lot larger too. So uh, one one would believe that something like this, a, a lens that does 14 to 24, 2.8, there would be a lot more glass, but I guess they've engineered it so it's really lightweight. The old version of this was just giant and there's a huge bulbous piece of uh, glass in the front. And now, like, you can actually have this tiny little lens hood. Wow, look at that. Okay, nice and clean. <laughs> it's not a lens hood. I guess maybe it's like a little baby lens hood. We have, like, something to protect the glass. And that is kind of a rarity um, to find something this wide at, at this speed. Um, and you can actually put something on the front. You can actually put uh, a filter in the front. But the filter they've put on uh, is quite large. And we actually have one of those over here. We've got ourselves um, this 112 clear UV uh, filter for this. And um, yeah, we'll try mounting this up as well. So, wow. But just let's take a moment to just uh, bask in the glory of this lens right here. Let's actually try putting a lens on, lens cap. Um, oh, this is a little bit tricky. Hold on, let's see. Okay, so the lens cap goes on here like this. Um, it comes on and off and there, I guess there's these uh, grooves that it aligns with and it just kind of clips in just like that. Um, but you have to kind of finagle with it a little bit. It's not one of these things where you can just throw it on there very quickly. And let's look at the back part. All right, that's nice and clean. And I believe this is, um, it's got the weather sealing on it as well. This is a beautiful lens and it's way lighter than I expected. I mean, this is, Probably, I'll, let me just give you a comparison so you can see. I've got this lens right here, which is my 24 millimeter 1.4 um, G lens. And it is heavy because it's also, I have to, in order to mount it to the, um, to the Z6, I've got to have this FTZ mount. And this thing is very heavy as well. So let's take this off for a second. And it's a little bit lighter that way, but I mean, there's a lot of glass. Obviously it's a 1.4, so it's not a fair, it's not apples to apples comparison. But just, you know, just holding these two, they feel about the same weight. I know this is just a little bit lighter, but as soon as you throw this adapter on here, it gets heavy. Now, weight might not be a big issue for most people, um, but if you're if you're doing a lot of travel photography, video, or anything like that, um, you kind of want something that does everything. You want that lightweight uh, lens, and but you're also gonna have to pay for it too. This thing is also very expensive. We're talking about something that's almost like $2,300 for this for this piece of tech right here. Um, and yes, this is expensive too, this prime lens, um, but I've looked at some of the tests here and this is just way sharper and I think it's more versatile. But, but I will tell you that I've used this 24 millimeter 1.4 for a long time and there is like some chromatic aberration and some distortion around the edges, but I really like the character that it gives to all my photos. So it's got something a little bit softer to it, which I don't know, I feel like that, it doesn't look so, I guess, um, 
so digital. So there's something that gives us that analog feel, which I like, I personally, that's my personal bias, but this thing gives a very, very clean image. So um, let's mount it up to the Nikon Z6 and play around with it. So this is the Z6. I've had this for several years now. I got it when it first came out. And this is exciting. <laughs> got ourselves native glass. Here we go. Line that up. And oh, wow, that just clicks so perfectly. That was the smoothest. The FTZ, like I, I feel like there's a little bit of friction in there, but this just, that was definitely well designed. That it's, it, the tolerances are so, so, so tight. I, I don't know how to describe it other than, let's do that one more time. Hear that? Wow. Okay, and there it is. Take off the lens hood and we'll fire it up. It's on now. That, and this is looking good. Wow. And it's now set at 14 millimeters. That is so wide. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have never had a lens this wide. 24 is the widest lens that I've ever used on this body right here. And it feels great. So let me let me just start by saying that this in the hand with this lens feels so balanced and it feels really good. Okay, it shows you the the number at the top. That and it matches perfectly. Oh wow, that is just look at that right there. These two um, screens, I guess they're some sort of OLED screens, and that is just wonderful. Wow, and just I'm I'm right now zooming back and forth uh, on this, and it's it the the motion, the action on this is beautiful. Here, let's get a sound of that. I mean that is really good. That's amazing. And we've got the buttons automatic and manual. Here we go. Get some sound. Oh, I like that too. The screen right there shows you manual focus and autofocus. That's wonderful. Okay. And let's try to um, see what's inside this box too, now that we've got this set up. All right, there is some sort of plastic in here. Okay, be careful with this. So there are three things. Okay, this looks like the giant lens hood that goes on top of it. And then there are probably two. Um, okay, this is actually, oh, this is a real lens hood. Okay, so this is the real lens hood that goes on top. And then there's probably this larger lens hood, I'm assuming, that goes on this too. Let's try this out. Okay, this is the massive lens hood. This is huge. This is this is really large here. And then we have, um, I guess, the lens cap. Holy. <laughs> Okay, this is silly. Here, I'm gonna just show you an example of these two. So this is the difference. This is what goes on on this lens right here as a lens cap. And then this one is what goes on top of, I guess, this lens cap, uh, I guess the lens hood over here. This is, <laughs> this is almost comical how large this is. Seriously, like no, no joke, this is the funniest. All right, well, let's just try it out. All right, so let's, let's see what we can do here. Let's start off with uh, this. We'll put this on and nice. Okay, so we've got ourselves a lens hood on here and let's see, let's set it down. So when we set it down, um, it's resting on the lens hood here on the bottom and it's not quite flush to the, the base right here, but um, so it kind of got a little bit of a tilt. I guess because it's so wide at 14 millimeters, um, it's just there just in case you have it. You could probably operate it without it, honestly. But then again, if you're a pro or whatever work you do, then maybe if you pay this much money, you might as well use it. For me personally, I don't usually use uh, lens hoods. Um, kind of just get in the way and they take up space. But let's try out this larger one now. Okay, this, all right, this is the bigger one. And the reason why you want the larger one is so that you can um, mount 
filters to it. And that's what makes this uh, different from all the other lenses out there that you can actually put a really large filter in the front. So let's look at this filter over here. Um, we've, we've got this other one. It's made by Schneider. Here you go. And I've never bought one of these before from this brand. So let's open this up. And so we've got this big honking piece of glass right here, this filter. And this is actually heavy too, my God. This, wow, this is adding a lot of weight, but that's really clear. Holy moly. This is so clear that I didn't think there was anything inside there. That is ridiculously clean. Um, but this thing does weigh a lot. So we're talking about extra weight. So what was once a light kind of setup where I thought it was very light, we're now adding a lot of weight. So here, let me show you the thickness of that filter. Um, and maybe let me grab a filter from one of my other lenses so we can see. So this is from the 24 millimeter lens. So the 24 millimeter uh, lens, here we go. So this is a 77, I think. This is already a very large filter, UV filter made by Tiffin. And this other one by B&W. Okay, so it's a B&W one. Okay, I'm not sure why it had that other name on there, but yeah, this is a B&W lens. Okay, so this is actually a really good brand too. And this thing is huge. So <laughs> here you go. That is the difference. I mean, this thing is massive, massive, 112 millimeters. That's just, that's crazy. <laughs> this is this is insane, and this is expensive too. So we're adding the price of both this filter and this uh, this lens together, and the weight. Is it worth it? I don't know. For some people, maybe. Um, but let's just try putting this on to make sure that it works because there's this bulbous, uh, not very bulbous, but there's like the, the shape of it does come out a little bit. All right, let's make sure, let's thread this properly. Oh, okay, there we go, not, not too tight. And there we go, now we've got ourselves a filter in the front to protect this thing. And the weight of it in hand is still fairly balanced. So. Um, it's, but it does have more weight now. So that's, that's where we're at. So we've got some more weight in the front and let's lie it down. Let's see what it looks like this way. Let's move some of the stuff out of the way. If you're buying this setup, you probably don't care too much about size, but then again, this, this is large. I mean, this is a very, this is getting big. This is a big setup with this. Uh, configuration with this lens hood, with this filter, and then, here we go, the gigantic lens hood on top of it. Okay, let me just note that this is really silly, silly what I'm doing. I'm literally protecting the glass with the lens hood and a UV filter, and then like this, this additional hood. You don't need to do all this, folks. I'm just doing this as a demonstration. Don't be that person that, <laughs> that protects the heck out of their, their glass. It's, you know, take the picture, use the equipment. The picture is more important than the camera. And all right, that snapped on nicely. Look at this thing. This thing is gigantic. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is starting to get a little bit silly and it is heavy now, but you know, you're not gonna shoot with this. Okay, so there you have it. This is the setup. So let's try, let's try shooting some stuff with it. I'm just gonna uh, turn this on to video mode right now. Um, and we'll just, Turn this on. I'll turn this to f f 2.8. Get at the fastest speed, and let's just start recording um, here. So here we go. This is, and also you get a chance to see my setup too. Right here, so we got the camera right there. We got you know the monitor right there, and we got some light over here, and and the coffee. So there's the coffee, and let's try zooming in a little bit. Oops, that's the wrong, wait, that's the right one. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay. And it does capture light very nicely. I'm shooting at ISO 100 on this camera. And and so that's why the background's so dark. Um, I've got everything pretty much on manual right now, manual. Really, you're getting this lens to shoot ultra wide, 14 millimeters, that is, that is very, very wide, folks. I mean, we've got ourselves like 
I mean, this is, I'm, I'm gonna zoom back out a little bit. Here we go. That is crazy. So this is pretty crazy. I, I'm, I'm like, look at this. Wow. And just to maybe give you uh, another piece of context, I'm gonna shoot it this way. So we're gonna do a little bit of vlogging style now with the with this camera. This with this lens hood right here and um, the filter, it makes the glass look huge, and it's a little bit intimidating. That is, <laughs> this is this is getting very serious. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm a little bit mixed. I'm a little bit torn about having the filter and this lens hood on top of here. It feels like it's getting away from what this lens is is it's kind of like what it makes it very special which is it's very compact um i'm not sure that was the intention but it just feels like the money that you're paying for this lens is not so that you can throw all this other stuff on top of it i mean you can if you're a landscape photographer um, and that makes sense but at that point you probably have your own uh setup with the map box and everything and if you're a vlogger and you're using, you're using this more for video, this is starting to get very large and heavy for the, with the additional just accessories on top of it. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this back off. So we'll put this back in. Uh, by the way, this, this case that it, it comes with is premium. I mean, this is really nice. Wow, that, that's definitely gonna protect it. So if I were to uh, own this lens and to use it every single day, I'm gonna keep it like this, no problems here. This is a beautiful, beautiful setup. I I think Nikon nailed it with these new lenses. It feels very Japanese, like the old school precision that you, you expect. And oh yeah, um, there might be some rage out there. I know it's pronounced Nikon, but I'm, I'm sorry. Like it's just, I'm so used to calling it Nikon for so long. I'm one of those guys. Um, yeah, but thank you so much for joining me. Really appreciated you uh, boxing this with me. We're gonna do some more stuff. So stay tuned for watching that. Uh, until the next time, I'll see you all soon. All right, cheers.